and selling cards are the lifeblood and are one of the most appealing aspects of any physical trading card game. But what would happen if players only had an incredibly limited selection of cards to buy from? In this series, both Ruxin34 and myself will be bidding on sealed product from all throughout Yu-Gi-Oh's history. Each episode will have a new selection of product for us to bid on, build decks, and play a best two out of three. However, the kicker is that the items up for grabs will only be revealed to us one at a time. You've never seen Yu-Gi-Oh! played like this before, because this is the Yu-Gi-Oh! Auction Series. If you want 5% off any singles or sealed product, click the affiliate links in the description and use code SEMO5. And clicking the TCG Player affiliate link before you shop helps support us to provide you with more amazing content. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of the Yu-Gi-Oh! Auction Series. First and foremost, Ruxin, congrats on hitting 100,000 subscribers. It is a long time coming, but you're finally there, buddy. How you feeling? Uh, I'm feeling pretty good. I got my 100,000 subscribers. Now I got my 100,000 Kybercorp dollars. I'm ready to go in this auction. <laughs> Yeah. We're all loaded. We're all loaded. Uh, this is going to be a fun one because last episode we did some of the strongest, most broken Yu-Gi-Oh sets of all time. This episode, we're going to do the exact opposite. We're going to do bottom of the barrel, worst sets ever made. And I'm excited. How are you feeling about this one? I love me a good terrible set <laughs> <laughs> i love me some jank as, yeah. uh, as you well know so hundred thousand bucks a piece buddy ready i'm totally ready let's do this all right item number one let's see what we're working with duelist Ooh. pack collection tin 2008 so the funny part is like this is just gonna like set the barometer for like how bad these sets are gonna be. Uh, this is a tin. I'm just wondering why there's a green next to it. <laughs> um, I think I vaguely remember this the, product. Uh, it's the only thing I know that's green is the Duelist League card. So tins that are by color, uh, I'm not sure what this is to be honest. <laughs> Yeah, this is tough. Uh, every time we get a product where I, I love it when we both don't know, because that means it's like kind of this wild card where it could be actually crazy uh, yeah. and we just don't realize it or it's just terrible. And that's why we don't want to even think about it. But I'll chuck up a bid, I guess. Uh, you know, we got to start somewhere. Uh, right? <laughs> 1000. I've got a hunch that these items might not be too good, but I'm going to give 1, this 1000 of respect. the finest Kyba Corp dollars. 3000. Uh -huh. Okay. Give it All right, to me. we'll go four. We'll oh, go four. get a little crazy here. Okay, I don't have that much respect, but I will go to five. I mean, it's still a tin, right? Yeah. Like, is it that bad? Yeah, that's the question. I have a hunch that these items are going to be really bad, so I'm trying not to underestimate anything. Oh, this is tough. Okay, wait. Six that I can't let you have it for six thousand. It's too low. Right, exactly. That's how I feel too. It's yeah. like I don't want to let it. I don't go think for either nothing. of us want this, but <laughs> I don't think either of us do honestly uh, uh uh fine take it take yeah. it for seven take it First for seven item, I, let's go i don't feel like you would have gone would you have gone to nine for it would i have gone to nine honestly i'm just i'm just living every second as it comes by. I don't know what okay. else gonna do. <laughs> <laughs> you, don't, you don't like to live in hypotheticals. I, yeah. I figured if I went to eight, you were gonna let me well, have it, so. I almost gave it to you at six, so if that tells you. Oh, that. <laughs> so, okay. Yeah, I guess my uh, hunch was correct then. Okay, uh, item number one goes to Ruxin. Let's see item number two. Oh boy. 13 packs of number hunters. <laughs> oh. oh, number hunters, okay. I'm gonna start off with a respectable bid. Wow. Okay. Starting off at 5k. To be fair, this is a lot more cards than the yeah. tin, I think. So, it is more cards. all right, let's go to six. Let's go to six. All right. All right. Seven. Okay, this is okay. the key number. Oh, I'll go to eight. Out. This is I'll the highest bid of the day. Okay. All right. Yeah. All right. Oh, God. Like, <laughs> you wanted to go to ten. You're oh, like, wait, my what? God. <laughs> Oh, number hunters is bad. All right. I'll go to 10. I'll go You're to going 10. to 10. Okay. Uh, Oh man, do I go to 11 for something like this? It uh, the thing is, it is. I mean, it does have numbers which are exceeds monsters. I mean, 
Uh, it's a reasonable number of packs, yeah, right? Yeah, and uh, I'm pretty sure this is like a five card pack set, so that means it's gonna have. I mean, it's gonna have some okay stuff. Okay, is put stretching it. Like, I think that's that's stretching. It's stretching as far it. as you possibly can. Yeah. Uh, I really don't. It's a decent a lot. amount of cards, though. It's a decent amount of cards. You know, I. Let's just. I'll let you have this one. Let's let's go. Okay, on even, we're gonna even out. Here. We're gonna even out. Yeah. Okay. I feel like uh, you probably have better regret cards. That one. You probably sure. have better cards. <laughs> oh no. I'll take the number hunter specs. That's fine. Oh, uh, no. I, I there's like a few things that may. I, it, it really depends on everything I feel else. like Let's they're see. much better than the 7,000 I spent. That's all I can say. That's what I feel as well. Uh, I think you and I are just really trying to hold out for something that's going to yeah, be any bit playable. I don't want to get too crazy yeah, on these bad yeah. stuff. I mean, they're all going to be bad probably. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be bad. Uh, item number three. Let's see what we got. Oh. 12 packs of Hidden Arsenal 5. <laughs> Oh God! So <laughs> the Steel Swarm invasion. Okay. Now, to be fair, this may have some of the most playable cards up till now. I don't know, right? Like Hidden Arsenal oh. isn't exactly known for playability. I mean, it has some broken cards in it, right? But uh, when I think Hidden Arsenal, I uh. think packs that I never ever want to open for my channel. Yeah. Uh, that's what I think about them. So this is a tough one. <laughs> Okay, so I won the last one, so I have to start. I, I suppose I will also start with a respectable bid. Respect. So. I respect it. We'll start with the 5K. All right. All right. He's going up six immediately. We'll go to seven. Okay. All right. You're I was going on a little bit of a bidding war here. You're bit responding quickly, here. so I feel like this isn't going to be the worst thing ever. <laughs> Again, I feel like in the context of what we're working with right. here, this may be like the only archetype or yeah. like some <laughs> synergistic cards that we may right. possibly have which could be pretty good yeah it, it could be it could be utter shit pretty too good. so <laughs> I, oh my god do i want to keep going on this Ugh. are we gonna ever break 10k is the question on this <laughs> that, you know i would be shocked if we did at this point but i feel like there's gonna be there has to be something later that has to be a little bit better right yeah there is something better than these i mean these are just awful they're not great. Uh, I I will let you have them for. 10K. All right, I'll, t I'll take it. I'll take it. Yeah, it's it's fine. <laughs> all right, buddy. So the Steel Swarm Invasion packs are all yours. Uh, we'll see if I regret that. Maybe I should have gotten more on these, but uh, my hidden arsenal knowledge is not too keen. <laughs> but item four, uh, maybe they'll get slightly better. They're probably just going to keep getting worse. This is just a train wreck. Let's see it. Oh <laughs> my god. <laughs> The Advent Calendar. The oh. 2019 Advent Calendar. Don't one of my singles? favorite products ever made. Uh, yeah, this is just all singles uh, and also a oh. Secrets of Eternity pack just for the memes it looks oh, like Secret as well. Oh, Secrets of Perfect. Eternity is This so is bad. like the <laughs> shittiest Christmas gift you could possibly give to someone. <laughs> it's like coal in your stocking, but it's Yu-Gi-Oh. Now, I do remember that the Advent Calendar, although there have been a few Advent Calendars now, so I... I'm a bit blurry on like which one has which. There are a few like okay cards in here. Yeah, like it having single cards. I mean, they're probably not that bad. I mean, they're probably playable in what we're doing. Yeah, I don't want to call it like dual devastator or anything, but <laughs> yeah, let's you know, away. <laughs> this is probably like the shit equivalent to dual devastator. So, uh, buddy, you won the last auction, so you have to kick us off. Oh, uh, do I want to start this with a respectable bid? Uh, <laughs> Do you, are you not going to give the 2019 advent calendar the respect it deserves? Uh, no. <laughs> 3,000. <000. laughs> you gave it 3,000. I was expecting 1,000 straight one. up. But... I'll, I'll, I'll give it a little respect. But okay. Uh, I will. I'll I'll knock you up. We'll go to four. You're going to knock me up. Okay. All right. 5,000. This is hard. Oh, my God. Yeah. One okay, Secrets we'll... of Eternity. Don't forget that. Oh, yeah. I mean, I guess to be fair, the Secrets of Eternity pack could be better than the entire advent calendar, but <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> Six thousand. Oh, Six thousand, buddy. This, what do you got? Uh, why are these items so bad? Seven thousand. I hate it because it's it's not that I want it. It's I don't uh, want you to have it for a low price. Yeah, All right. Uh -huh. You got it, buddy. You got let's dance. Uh, let's dance. It's 2019. It's gotta have something okay in it, right? You know, at least one single we can play. There's you cannot have this for under ten. You have to nine thousand. You have to bid at least ten to get this. <sighs> Oh or give God. it to me for nine. I'll take it for nine. Uh, okay, either way. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> he was not exaggerating about these bad mm, sets. Yeah, not exaggerating that this is the bottom of the barrel. That's for sure. 
Take it. Take it. Oh. I can't. I can't justify it. I can't ah, justify Christmas it. Christmas came early. The advent calendar. I feel like there's actually a couple decent cards in there. Like, but if it's from 2019, it worth... there's got to be at least one card that I can play in there, right? I think it may have a snowman eater. Oh, that's pr actually uh, pretty strong. Yeah. Which is actually like, okay. Right. Yeah. Uh, that's but, not bad Because it's like, it has like winter themed stuff, yeah. but I don't remember if it does or is not. I think it may have like Christmas Karibo. Maybe. I don't remember. Uh, if there was, like, that's what this would be in. I just feel like a lot of the cards are bad, but maybe I'm wrong. We'll see. All right. Uh, what is this? Item five. We still have a lot of money to work <laughs> with, so okay. maybe this will get interesting. $90,000. Oh my God! McDonald's promo cards. Oh jeez. Oh. Uh, this is series two as well. I'm gonna. Uh, I'm gonna start this off with a disrespectful bit. Okay, go 1, ahead. <laughs> uh, okay, all right, all right. Now, like, I I remember series one pretty yeah. vividly. Was two much worse than one? Well, one was awful, if you remember. Uh, I, yeah, that's my point, though. But is two worse? I don't remember exactly, <laughs> but I am pretty sure that this is a really bad set. Pretty sure. Well, I mean, compared to everything else, is it that much? I mean, I don't know. Maybe the advent calendar is going to be worse than this. Oh, my God. All right. Uh, let's go. 2K. $2,000. 2000 uh, Imagine I'm paying $2,000 for McDonald's packs. First of all, I'm, okay. They're like that expensive now for the first ones. But second, That's of, true. second of all, I'm considering letting you have this for $2,000. That's how I think bad this is. It's that bad? I don't even understand. Like, is there any point to me bidding and getting this, even for $3,000? I honestly cannot remember. All I remember are fusion cards. That's all you I could just remember. do it to spite me. That could be a reason. Yeah, just to, yeah, that's true. That would be fun. The viewers would enjoy that. Honestly, you can have this. Okay, <laughs> fantastic. Can't wait to can't wait to open this, and it's going to be terrible. It's going to be a lot of fun. All right, uh, McDonald's packs go to Simo, and we are halfway through the auction. We still have way too much money, uh, but this is what happens when we are dealing with uh, cards that are terrible. I guess <laughs> like. I don't know what we're holding out for. We may as well go big because, like, <laughs> is it going to get better, buddy? I don't think so. I we're going to have so. a lot of extra cash to spend after this. Uh, okay. Item number six. So let's see what we got. Oh. oh, God. All right. I mean, Star Pack is okay. I actually think, like, by this series standards, this may not be that bad. It's I actually think this probably okay. one of the best items, but it's still hilariously bad just in yeah, context. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's not bad. great. All right, I'll, I'll show this a little bit more respect. We'll start at 5K. That seems to be, like, the, the genuine starting position if we think the item is decent. Yeah, I'm going to respect it a little bit, too. I'm going to upbid you by 2,000 to 7,000. Mm, okay, I'll go to 9 here. I think we're going to yeah. start uh, throwing some money around for these. I mean, we've these, got so much cash right now. We have a lot of cash, but we also don't have a lot of items, and that's what I'm the most concerned with, considering I don't have that many cards to work with, and honestly, neither do you. <laughs> uh, uh, there's just not a lot of cards in general in these sets, which is another reason they're bad, so I'm going to go to 11,000. Mm, okay, I'll go to I'll go to 12. I'm about to... <laughs> am I really about to do this on Star Pack? What? Is this number six? This is number six, so we still have four items after this, potentially. Well, I'm going to bid 15 grand on Star Pack. Wow. Honestly, I think I'm going to go 16. Wow. He's got to spend that 88,000. This may be this may be one of our better sets, so like maybe this is where the money has to go. <laughs> it's kind of sad, but oh my goodness, you're going Are you 16. thinking about it? 16k on star packs. Like that's almost over a grand <laughs> per pack. That is awful. <laughs> well, uh how about 17,000? Let's go with that. Oh. Uh, I like That's your so I like your deck as a McDonald's pack two only. I really like that. I don't like that as <laughs> like I feel like I'm a bit cornered here, but we still have four items left. The question is, I guess, how many packs am I gonna have to work with? Jeez, I don't yeah, are know. Are you gonna have forty cards? Is the question. I'll go eighteen, buddy. Let's see it. If you wanna, if you wanna go for it, you're gonna have to pay for it. I'll take nineteen thousand. Am you I got, about to bid twenty thousand dollars for Star grand. Pack? Eighty-eight <laughs> grand. So. Oh man, Star Pack. All right. You got me. 20K for Star Pack. Let's do it. 21. 21. He's going <laughs> for it. Oh, man. He's just going the distance. What are you going to do with that 88 grand? Are you just going to let it sit there or are you going to do something with it? Four. Okay. So what I'm thinking is four items left. And we've also had some items in the past that are actually pretty good towards the end. 
We've also had some uh, DDS promos at the end. Don't forget. We have. That. That's true. We've and also this had is the Jank Dark episode. Magician unplayable cards in Dungeon Dice Monsters. Yeah, this before. is the that Jank was... episode. Keep that in mind. <laughs> mm, yeah, you know what? This may be this may be like as good as it gets. Honestly, honestly, 22. I'm trying to. I can't remember exact cards in here, but I remember there being some good stuff. And 22. Okay, we still have four more items. We Before both have items. over seventy-four thousand uh, dollars. Yeah, this seems like one. This seems like when we go in. I'm going to twenty-three thousand. Twenty-four. Well, you, you want you want this even more than I do, or do you? <laughs> twenty-five. Twenty-five thousand for Star Packs. <laughs> What's the record? Thirty-one thousand. That's the most we've spent. Well, I think last so. Auction. Other I think than it last is. Last auction, which it doesn't really count. Take it. All right, let's Take go. It. Star Take pack it. I can't. Battle Royale. I can't go more than 25 on Star Packs. Like, right. I can't do it. Okay. Watch, uh, there's going to be something actually good after this. I mean, it's possible. Like, again, like, we'll see. But I really that, hope that was the best idea. I feel like it's getting to the point now where, like, that's getting dangerously low if we go too high on it. So yeah. I, I, I didn't want to risk it. And just in case, just in case. Like, look at the money disparity right now, right? The disparity, but I still got 49K. So I'm feeling you right. do. I mean, to be fair, if something <laughs> actually really good comes up and really good is very relative in this case, I can bid <laughs> 50 and just get it. So, you that's know what? True. Item seven. Let's see it. Fuck. Ooh. Tournament pack six. That's not what I was hoping for. I was hoping uh, for something better. Uh, that's okay, good. buddy. Pack six, it, I mean, know? it's not bad. It's you, okay. I mean, these cards are pretty valuable. You could sell them at least if you, uh, you can't play them. Uh, yeah, we could sell them in our imaginary <laughs> wonderland of fake money and Kaiba Corp dollars. All right, buddy. You you won the last one, so you get to start. All right. <laughs> One thousand. Uh, apparently, you didn't respect it that much. All right, two thousand. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be fun. They're, okay, tournament pack six. You don't have a lot of money to work with, relatively speaking. Oh yeah, this is an interesting one. All right, I'll have to go three thousand. I'll go four. Five thousand, please. Six. Uh, six thousand. All right, we've got three more items after this. Honestly, I mean, it's still pretty low. I'll take it for seven. Let's just go to ten. Let's just wrap this up. All right, perfect. You can have it. Okay, thank you. Perfect. Uh, honestly, I just need cards at this point. Well. <laughs> 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 the only cards I can think of are Toon Table of Contents and Toon Cannon Soldier. So <laughs> I'm thinking like there could be maybe some playable vanillas. Yeah. And so I, at this point, like that may be better than some of the stuff we've seen thus far. And I have a pretty significant money lead. So item yeah, eight, uh, we're getting towards the end. Let's see. Ooh. <laughs> Five is, packs from of this year? Blazing Vortex. I mean, this set was not very good. <laughs> Blazing Vortex. I'm, I'm thinking of Lightning. No, Lightning Vortex. That's what I was thinking are, of. Are I was thinking like, Lightning Overdrive? Oh my gosh. They all have the same <laughs> names. I don't know what this is. All right. <laughs> let's get going. Blazing Vortex was before Lightning Overdrive, I think. Okay. It is a new set then. Okay. That's what yeah, I thought. Yeah. It's a very I, new set. Yeah. Uh, this is interesting because we only get five packs of it, but like this could be a very playable set of cards. Yeah. All I remember is Blazing Dumpster Fire from John. That's all I can Blazing think Blazing Dumpster Fire. Uh, all right. I'm going to go 5K to start. I mean, it's probably going to be pretty good in this. So, But five packs. Ugh. It's only five packs. That's the yeah. trade-off. You're going six. I'll go seven. Yeah. I mean, this is the set is from this year. Like, I'm not giving you this for under 10. <laughs> we'll go nine. All right. If you want it for 10, I mean, you got to bid it up. All right. I'll take it. All right. I'm not giving it to you, though. <laughs> so let's go <laughs> bit. Oh, man. This could be... Ah, uh, isn't the the pot card in here the insane one? It's like hundred and twenty dollars. Uh, or yeah, I think it is. I mean, I that mean that's a that's a secret rare though. Like, good luck. <laughs> I'm just thinking about worst case scenario if I give you this and you pull something like that. But it's only five packs. Oh my goodness. It's only five packs. But it, the secret rares are only one in twelve in these new sets. I don't know if the randomizer or the ratio seem to be a little bit off with your tournament pack ultra say, rare I, pulls. Yeah. Um, Oh man! So we have two more items after this. You have. We still have two more. Yeah. Oh, you have seventy-eight thousand, I think. I got a lot. Uh, yeah, I'll go twelve. I'll go twelve on this. Let's go thirteen. Yeah, this could be like game changing. Cause, yeah, fourteen. I'll go fourteen. Fifteen thousand dollars for five packs of one of the worst sets ever. 
Uh, I think at this point, I got to give it to you just in case. Okay. The next uh, one. Terrible decision on my end, but, you know. I, I don't know. A, there could be something. Like, I, I feel like there's like a common like synchro card you could play in here or like Xyz or something. I'm just so going new. off the fact that it's new and right. maybe that there's just stuff that outclasses the old stuff. Yeah, just like it, it's in the just not good slot. anymore, but it might be good in our format. Right. We'll see. All right. Only two items left. Uh, let's see item <laughs> number nine. Three grand. Oh my God. Three copies of Destiny Board Traveler. Okay, uh, promos are always fun in this series. So I won, I have to start off by bidding. Uh, let's go for a thousand. Uh, now we're in the, uh, we're, we're in a rough time here because I have less money. Uh-huh. So this could be interesting. Mm-hmm. Oh, uh, this is an awkward situation. Once we get to the end is where things start getting shaken up significantly. Yeah. What could that last item be? That's the mystery. How uh, you feeling, buddy? I feel weird about this one, for sure. I feel weird about it. All right, I'll go to 2,000. I would have to, like, significantly overbid to not get the last item here, but we'll go three. I'm going to go with 13. Th <laughs> okay, so you want to play the game here, I see. got to play the game. So do you want to upgrade right. me or not? <laughs> All right. All right, we'll go 14. We'll go 14. Oh, interesting. That might make we'll the last 14. one. You go doing it for the content. All right, you can have this. Uh, we'll go into the last one for it with even money. Then. We get a tie on the last yeah, one? Yeah, make, okay. it, make it interesting. Sounds good. So um, I think this is actually really good. <laughs> oh. If... If Destiny Board Traveler has what I think it does, I don't want to give anything away. I think that oh, may be one of the best away, items yeah. we could have bid on, as a matter yeah. of fact. Relatively speaking. Relatively yeah. speaking. Yeah. Uh, okay, buddy. Well, it looks like the money's tied. So we are now going to just tie on the last item, which means uh, we both get it, which is a lot of fun. It's so, going to be terrible. Uh, it's going to be awful. Let's see what it is. <gasps> oh! oh! Okay. Okay. I'm a full box of tactical evolution. That's actually going to okay. make a big difference. What is bad about this? <laughs> I mean, it's like known as one of like the worst core sets ever because it has just like a bunch of awful yeah. cards in it. Like it has like a few good redeeming factors, but like generally speaking, this is just like one yeah. of the worst I sets did, ever. It just printed. feels, <laughs> it, it feels so good compared to everything else right now. I know. I, I like, this is why I was like wanting to save the money for the end, like yeah. for sure. So all right, well, good thing we evened it out because I would not have wanted you to get a booster box of this without me getting one too. But yeah, buddy, same. we got some packs to crack open. I'm excited. Let's see what we're working with. All right, you guys. So that was a blast of an auction. Some terrible products we now have to open. I think we have somewhere in the neighborhood of like 70 plus packs. So we're going to go ahead and get through them. First up, we have five packs of Blazing Vortex. I think the draft when you throw everything in there does it alphabetically. So this is what came up first. Uh, this is actually something that could be very good since it's a newer set, which is why I wanted to bid a lot on it. So let's go ahead and see what we get here. A lot of these things like may be pretty unplayable, but to be fair, having like an 1800 attack level four, which is pretty common now in like modern Yu-Gi-Oh, that just may be good enough depending on like the scope of the rest of the cards that we're getting. Well, there's an ultra rare seven realms of the golden land. Uh, don't think we're going to be playing Eldritch in this episode of the auction series, but uh, it's an ultra rare, so we'll take it. And following that up is a Seeker Rare, Security Force, Rappa Chiyomaru. Uh, again, don't really think that's too playable if we don't have like a Security Force core to go with it. And looking at some of the rest of these cards, uh, I'm not feeling too sure about this one. Last pack though of Blazing Vortex. Can we end on anything decent? Uh, Super Rare Arm Dragon Thunder level three. I feel like we would need the rest of this for this to be good, but we'll have to take a closer look at some of these. Let's go ahead and move on to the McDonald's packs. All right, it's time to open some of these awful packs because right now uh, it's not looking too good. So we've got one Duelist pack for Zane Truesdale. Let's see what we get. Okay, limited removal is not bad. All right, Cyber Darks aren't gonna do us any good. All right, one pack of Jaden Yuki three. Dark guy. Oh, hummingbird. What does this do again? It gains life points. You guys know I love gaining life points, so that's not the worst. I guess. Okay, it's still bad. Jesse Anderson. Hey, man, these are all dual links cards. Okay, so next up is 10 packs of McDonald's promo series two. If you guys don't know, McDonald's actually did promotions with Yu-Gi-Oh! and Pokemon, where they actually gave you cards in booster packs, which was kind of cool. I vividly remember the series one cards but i don't really remember series two so let's see how bad it is oh my god it's a bunch of fusion monsters really okay oh i mean mm, i was excited when i saw vanilla colored cards but 
a two tribute 2000 attack point monster and a 400 attack non tribute. That is awful. All right, well, Moon Envoy is sadly probably the best card we've gotten so far. I always loved this artwork as a kid, though, but 1100 on a level four, that may be one of the best cards we get out of here. Okay, there's a lot of gin. I mean, that's an 1800 beater, if anything else. That is a rare. So, I mean, looking at the rest of these, I mean, we'll take it. <laughs> Oh, this card was so cool as a kid. White Horn Dragon. When it's no more special summon, target up to five spells in your opponent's grave. Banish them. And if you do, this gains 300 attack for each banished by this effect. That's actually not bad. I mean, again, by, you know, this series standards, that's pretty good. Okay, a second Law Jin. You know, I, I the way that this could have gone, it could have been much worse. But two Law Jin and a White Horn Dragon, you know what? I'll take it. We got one pack left. Let's flip it up and see another Moon Envoy at the very least, I guess. But that's going to do it for this. Next up is Number Hunters. All right, none of that's any good. Let's go into our Hidden Arsenal 5. I think we have 12 of these, so let's see what we can get. We've got, all right, we've got a Synchro Monster. One Light Tuner and one or more Non Tuner. That's actually not crazy hard. It's a level 8 Synchro. Honestly, not that bad. We have to see if we can get any any uh, actual tuners, though. Second pack. All those were pretty bad. Hey, a four-star 2100 Defender. Honestly, not that bad. Pack two. All right, another Aquamir. That's not bad. Okay, give us more Gishkis. I, I kind of want that. Gym Knight Ruby. Okay, another Aqu... We have three Aquamirs, so if we can get some more monsters, it's actually viable. However, I don't think we have an actual Ritual card yet, so that's kind of a problem. <laughs> Next pack, we have a Gym Knight Fusion. Okay, are we going Gym Knights? Probably not. All right, we got uh, Gatekeeper, Charger, Lavalva. We got the uh, Master Magma Blacksmith, the Gym Knight Armadillo. Uh, another Gym Knight. We're going to get another Aqua Mirror. We don't have any actual rituals, so I don't think that's going to work out. Infestation Wave. I think that's a Steel Storm card. Laval Whoa, a Garnet. Okay, a four star 1900. This might be a card you just throw in because it's kind of decent. Okay, two more packs. Gym Knight Fusion again. Gishki Aerial. Man, where are the actual Gishki Ritual Monsters? All right, we finished with a Ruby. Man, I don't know if we can play anything in here because all the Gishki stuff, we didn't actually get a Ritual Monster. Uh, and then everything else is just, it just seems bad, but I'll have to check it out later. Let's open our Secrets of Eternity pack. One pack. It's nine cards, though. Uh, Blaze Accelerate. We got a Super Every Samurai. Oh, the Unizabi. This card's actually not terrible. If you are playing a zombie strategy, but we don't have a zombie strategy. All right, so 13 packs of number hunters. I vaguely remember what's in this set. I think compared to some of the rest of the stuff, this set's okay. Let's flip it up and see what we get first. Oh, maybe not. Maybe I'm already regretting this. You know, in our second pack, we're getting some gimmick puppet stuff. I'm not sure if we can get enough gimmick puppet stuff to actually make like a deck, but I mean, there's a giant grinder, so maybe? I'm not gonna lie, Chakra being a level seven ritual that may be playable depending on how the rest of this goes, because if we don't really have like good removal or anything, just sticking a big guy may be worth it. This has to be like one of the worst packs because it's like all Xyz monsters that I'm probably never gonna be able to summon. Uh, we did get a crazy box, which basically sums up how I feel about this episode. <laughs> Oh, Blue Mountain Butter Spy is actually an okay card. I think you can just like special summon this to the field under a certain condition. Mechwhip Dengineer is also not bad either. I mean, this is like okay if we can actually facilitate some of these cards, but hopefully. Man, Master of Blades would be so sick if we can actually summon it, but a rank seven, I am not keeping my hopes up for that. Kage to Kage though is pretty good. That's another way to just get monsters on the field, so we'll take it. All right, and then our last pack of number hunters, uh, another Kage to Kage. You know what? I will take it and a bunch of Xyz that we are probably not ever going to be able to summon. Uh, next up is 24 packs of Tactical Evolution. This could actually form the core of our deck. All right, Star Pack Battle Royale, the one we spent 25 grand on. Did I make a good decision? I think there's some okay cards in the set. I haven't actually checked, so let's just see what we get. We've got a Yosinji. It's Yos Honestly, Yosinji's might be okay in this. <laughs> the Duo Dawn King. It's an Xyz. Two D level 8 DDDs. I doubt that happens. Pack 3. Bloom D... Is this just the new Duel Links update? Is that what this is? Star Pack Battle Royale. We've got the Bloom Diva. The Melodious Choir. we got more Melodious. Maybe we'll go into that. Right for Chimera. Hey, look. we got a Super Heavy Samurai Synchro. I bet it has to be a Super Heavy Samurai. Yeah, it's very specific, unfortunately. Next pack. Another Bloom Diva. Super Heavy Samurai. Mean, we've got a few Super Heavy Samurai cards. Is that what we go with? Moria Senjus. All right. A Melodious card. Interesting. We're going to have to look into this. I just need enough cards to play something. Another Battle Ball. A Super Heavy Samurai. <laughs> Giga Gloves. Are we going to play Super Heavy Samurai? Seems like a terrible idea. 
uh, another Super Heavy Samurai. DD Necro Slime. What does this do again? All right, we got a lot of Super Heavy Samurais. It's not a good idea, but maybe we'll do another Bloom Prima, the Lodius Kawaii. We got a Yosinju Kama. DDD Oracle. Okay. Soprano. Man, these are bad. This was a waste of money. <laughs> well, I mean, honestly, Super Heavy Samurai is looking tempting. Uh, it's not good, but it's something. Former Pal, Second Donkey. Opera, the Melodious Diva. Okay. I don't know how we actually fusion some of the fusion monsters, though, so I don't think it's very good. Two more packs. We have Fright for Leo. Another Speed Recovery. I still haven't read this. Speedroids. Okay, not happening. Final pack that we spent all this money on. Speedroid double yo-yo. 24 packs of tactical evolution. Let's see what we get in pack number one. Double summon may actually be playable in our format because of how slow it's looking, but when you have other cards in here like the Chrysalises, the Venom Monsters, I mean, this is just a terrible set. Alien Shock Trooper is actually pretty sick because it's a 1900 vanilla, which means Rux and I are probably both going to have access to this card and, uh, you know, makes this box actually not too bad. This pack's actually not bad because we have another Shock Trooper. Uh, Ren, Gamekeeper of Dark World, is actually a 2100 defender. And then Strike Slash is actually a battle trick that gives a monster 700 attack. And if it attacks a defense monster, it does piercing. So this is technically a removal card in a way. So we'll probably play it. This pack's rather interesting. Uh, Razor Lizard is funny because while you control another reptile, if it attacks a face down defense monster, it just destroys it immediately. We do have Kage to Kage, so we could actually maybe trigger that effect. And then Neo Space Pathfinder, the effect is garbage, but it's an 1800 level four, so I'll take it. Another copy of Strike Slash is nice. And then we have a couple Tribute Gemini monsters in the form of Doom Shaman and Grass Chopper. We may just play these because they're Tribute Summonable. I don't think we'd ever need to Gemini summon them, but like they're decent beaters, so that's okay. Oh, Shield Spears in here as well. This actually is a very decent battle trick. It's not as good as Strike Slash, but honestly, I mean, just having more cards like this is pretty good. And there's a Desert Twister in the Ultra Rare slot. This is with the Chaos Retrains that use like Wind and Earth. If we actually have a decent amount of Wind and Earth monsters, we could play this. Oh, this is just like the God Pack. Razor Lizard, Alien Shock Trooper, Pathfinder, Strike Slash. I mean, it doesn't really get better than this. Also, Shock Trooper's a reptile, so that works with Razor Lizard. Lucky Pied Piper is kind of cute. It's a Gemini monster that if it's Gemini summon and it destroys an opponent's monster by battle, you actually get to draw a card. So if we actually get like a Shield Spear or like a Strike Slash with this when it's Gemini summon, that could not be too bad. It's also a win for Desert Twister. Gravatic Orb is an interesting card. I've pulled a couple of these so far. It has a flip effect to change the battle position of all face-up monsters your opponent controls. So that way, if they attack into it, it switches it to defense so we could hit over with something. This is pretty playable. Ooh, Phalanx Pike is actually pretty good for a sealed sort of environment like this. The equipped monster gains 900 attack for each card in either graveyard that has the same name it does. Since Ruxin and I both have tactical evolution booster boxes, this could make like one of our alien shock troopers just massive symbols of duty is monster reborn actually you send a normal monster to the grave target a monster in either graveyard special summon it and you equip it with symbols of duty uh we're 100 playing that that's pretty good and only a few packs left of tactical evolution honestly some of the cards in here are pretty decent and uh it's gonna make for some interesting deck building for sure so let's flip it up ultimate rare neos alias that's actually a sick rip because it's a 1900 level four. Really happy to see that actually. No complaints. Let's go into our second to last pack here. Another grass choppers. Okay. We have like most of these cards already. And for our last pack, mm, didn't look like anything too crazy. I think it's all commons we've already got at this point. So next up, we've got 20 packs of tournament pack six. All right, let's get our tactical evolution. Man, this has been rough. I have no idea what we're going to play. Uh, we got an alien shock trooper, 1900. That's probably going to get played to be honest. Another alien shock trooper. It's not terrible. Pack three. Gemini summoner. The normal monsters would be funny. It would be really funny, to be honest. Pack four. We have another alien shock trooper. That's pretty good. Goggle Golem is another Gemini. I know that. He becomes a 2100, which is good, but you have to summon him twice to do that. Maybe if you have the summoner on the field, it's not bad. Hopefully we get three summoner. Okay, we have another Tusker. Okay, Shield and Spear might not be a bad card. This card's awful, uh, but it, it's a quick... I mean, not a quick play, but it's a trap card that you can play in the battle phase and gain 400 attack and defense, which if we are playing like normal slash Gemini beats kind of thing, this might actually, you know, come up. Pack six. If we're going to play the Gemini, we need another summoner, at least another one. Okay, we have Broken Bamboo Sword. That'll be very effective for our matchup. Another Shield Spear. We will take that. A second one. That's not bad. Trap Reclamation. I guess it's the same thing. 
Uh, yeah, so you can get your trap back. Interesting. Another broken bamboo sword. A Neospatian Pathfinder. Okay, he is a beater. You can add Neospace. Uh, not very good. He has an 1800, though, but... Eh. Give us another Gemini Summoner. Blazewing Butterfly. This is a super rare in the set. This is another Gemini card. And, uh, you can tribute this card target when Gemini in your graveyard special summon it. So you have to summon it twice to get that effect, which is awful. That's why you need Gemini Summoner, but you can special summon a target, which is nice. It's sad that I'm going for a Gemini strategy. It's probably going to be terrible. Another Goggle Golem. Okay. All right. We've got a Ringe. He's a four-star 2100 defender, so that's not terrible. Alien Shocked. Another Ritual Raven. A Neo Space... Or a Neo Elemental Hero Neos Alias, whatever this guy's called. He is Gemini, and he becomes Elemental Heroes of the Field, which doesn't really matter, but he is a 1900 beater, which is not bad. All right. We need another Gemini Summoner. Come on. Shadow Delver, Venom Boa... Flint Missile. All right. Okay. Nothing crazy. We've got another Neos Alias. We're playing straight up beats right now. This is kind of scary. Uh, Shield Spear number three. All right. It's something. Grass Chopper. Where are the Gemini Summoners? Was that like a rare or something? Because we can't pull them. Another Dawn Break and another Shadow Delver. Common Charity. This is like a Allure of Darkness, but it's in a trap card for normal monsters. Honestly, this is pretty good. Have we drawn this? I mean, have we pulled this yet? If we have multiples of this, we're playing this in a normal deck. Can we get one more Gemini Summoner, please? Doom Shaman. Oh, where are the Gemini Summoner? We're not going to get another one. We're only going to get one. And the final pack of our opening. Come on. Here we go. Oh, another Grass Chopper. That's not terrible. Another Ringe. Okay, interesting. This is going to be a rough deck. Oh my goodness. So my hopes aren't really high for this one. Tournament packs aren't necessarily that great. And since it's only three cards a pack, we're probably going to go through it pretty quickly. Let's flip up the first one. Uh, wait a minute. Oh, can we play this? Oh, we may have to figure out a way to play this. This would be very funny. Okay, now my whole mind has changed about uh, this pack just because of that card alone. Uh, a bunch of fusions. Uh, never mind. <laughs> Sarah's last turn again. The problem is we'd have to like get something in our deck that's big enough that we know we could beat Ruxin with. But we'll think about this. Uh, Yamada Dragon's pretty sick though, but I don't think we're going to be playing it. Oh, Air Knight Parshath is a pretty good hit in this pack. Uh, it might be kind of underpowered compared to some of the other tribute summons, but the fact that we can draw cards off of this is pretty good. Two Table of Contents is cool. Uh, it's worth several hundred dollars if we actually pulled it in real life, so that's unfortunate, but it's still cool nonetheless. And only three more packs to go of Tournament Pack 6. Uh, not really too much to talk about. It's pretty much just looked exactly like that last pack. Another Air Knight Parshath, though. Uh, Thunder Nyan Nyan's also something else that's... Okay, uh, it just blows itself up, unfortunately, under a lot of circumstances, so I don't think it's very good. Last pack, uh, nothing too great in the close. So that actually does it for all of our packs, but we do still have one more product to take a look at. All right, you guys, so before we wrap things up and go to the deck building, we still have one last item that we got, and that is three play sets of the promos of the Game Boy Advance game, Destiny Board Traveler. Now, while this game may have sucked, I think the promos in here are actually pretty broken. If it's what I think it is, this may be actually the best thing I bid on, which is also why I saved it for last. So we're here on the article. I haven't scrolled down yet, so let me scroll down and see what it is. Oh, yes, it's DD Assailant. Oh, thank God. Three copies of the man himself, DD Assailant. His original printing I knew was in this game, I'm pretty sure, but this card is nuts. This is removal, which we are desperately lacking in this set, and so happy to see that we bid on this and got these because Assailant is a sick pull. And this the Infinity is just a big idiot that can get bigger every time he kills a monster in battle. And then Twin Headed Beast can attack twice, but it's 1700 for a tribute. Not very good, but the three DD assailants is what I was after here. So thankfully, Ruxin didn't know that this was here and we managed to scoop up a good one. So guys, let's go ahead and get to deck building. We've got a lot of work to do. Wow, guys, this is much worse than I expected. There was nothing. There was nothing. So I'm just going to show you what I got. We have Gemini strategy, which honestly Alex could be on as well, but I bet he got better cards out of his other packs. So we have Doom Shaman. You have to summon Geminis twice to get their effect, which is completely terrible but it can monster reborn fiends from either graveyard which is pretty good if you can actually get it to happen grass chopper can attack every monster on the opponent's side of the field 
uh, if it's Gemini summoned. Then all these are beaters. Uh, that has an effect, but it doesn't matter. Tusker can burn when it destroys something. Not very good either. Yosenju, comma, two is actually a pretty decent card. It can special summon another Yosenju. We have three others. We didn't pull multiples of any other one besides the second one. This one can attack directly and is 1800, which is pretty nice. This one can bounce a monster if you have an another Yosenju. So that's what kind of why I included these, just so there's more targets for it. So it can bounce something, which is really good. And then these guys can just uh, kind of be defenders, which is nice. Gemini Summoner is like the best card in the Gemini deck. It takes two times to be destroyed, and also it can special summon uh, normal monsters, etc. So we've got all kinds of normal and Gemini monsters here. Goggle Golem just becomes a big beater when he's Gemini summoned. Blazewing Butterfly is really good because it can special summon from the graveyard, and it will automatically have a Gemini effect, which is super good. Shadow Devil is just another Gemini card that can allow it dark to attack directly which is not that great but it's just another card then we have a bunch of the karibo so we have sphere karibo it can activate from hand which is pretty nice karibo it's not very good but it can also activate from hand wing karibo no battle damage the entire turn so it's just set it face down and you're good uh karibo you can also activate when he destroys a monster at the end of the turn i can discard this card and then special summon it so it's actually really good for gemini so if he destroys something i discard this card bring the gemini back next turn normal summon it gets gemini effect so it's okay i say really good but it's it's something <laughs> I don't know how to say this, Karibobol or something like that, but it's another that you can activate from your hand. There's just not a lot of options, so I'm playing like whatever I can do. This card, this could come up with Link Karibo. We have Link Karibo, so if we tribute this card to bring back Link Karibo from the graveyard, we could draw a card. So it actually turns into a decent draw, and then you can banish it from the graveyard. Uh, if something would be destroyed by battle, which is not bad. Rainbow Karibo came up in one of our one of our duels, so it's actually not terrible. Crystal Seer allows us to just get deeper in the deck. Uh, Flute of Summoning Karibo is not bad. It springs out a Karibo or a Wing Karibo. Creature Sweet Seizure, because we have so many normals and Geminis, we could use that. Swing of Memories was actually a really good pull, because we could normal summon uh, something from the graveyard. Like, let's say a Blazewing Butterfly, tribute it off, or summon it, tribute it off, and bring back like a Doom Shaman or a Grass Chomper. Then we have Symbols of Duty, which is basically Monster Reborn when we send one of their normals to the graveyard, which is really good. This card's not very good, but there's just not a lot of options in terms of back row, which is not good. Hand Destruction just gets us deeper into the deck. We got we only have a few good cards, so we want to get to them. Spell Reclamation, because our spells are some of our best cards, and we barely have any, so I played this. Common Charity, another draw card. We have a lot of normal monsters. Gemini's count is normal when you have them, so uh, you can use that. Spear Shield, three Spear Shield. Uh, it's the only battle trap we have. So, yeah, we go with that. Extra deck, we got another Grass Chomper. We got this King Pyron. He's pretty bad, but he does burn damage. Uh, a defensive Gemini, not very good. We do have the Air Hummingbird. If he is on some sort of burn strategy, this could help us out with the burn. And we could gain some life points. Hopefully, he's not playing Milligan. Card Ejector, if he does have graveyard effects, we can play this and just start banishing cards from his graveyard. Phantom Cricket's really bad, but if he has flip monsters, maybe it works. This card, if he does have XC's cards that are good, this would do something towards them. Not much. We do have a just a big big defender in there. Wing Karibo level 9. I don't see a lot of Chain Link 3s happening, but maybe it'll happen. Clear Karibo. Here's another burn card. Clear Karibo. If he is on burn, this we can discard this and negate it. It's probably not going to happen. That's why it's in the side deck. Trap Reclamation. Same thing as for spell, except for traps. Triggered Summon. If he does Special Summon something and we can Special Summon, I actually kind of want to put this in the main deck. I just don't know if he's going to be Special Summoning a lot. You know what? I kind of want this because it could give us a free Summon. I'm going to put this in and I'm going to take out a maybe one of the Goggle Golems, I think. Let's put the Goggle Golem down here. And then we have three Counter Trap just in case he has some Counter Traps. I, there just was not much to put in the extra deck. Then we have one card we can play, Link Rebo. The other two are not actually playable. They're just bluffs, so he thinks we maybe have something else. This is going to be an absolute disaster. I know he has better cards than this. I know he does. This is just absolutely terrible so let's get into it let's see what we can do you know taking a look at this deck this actually doesn't look too bad considering we pulled from some of the worst sets ever in Yu-Gi-Oh's history but this is the deck we are bringing to today's duel I gotta admit I think tactical evolution actually came in clutch and really rounded out the deck in a lot of ways so let's go and do the card by card uh we got an erudite parshath from tournament pack six I believe this is a pretty nice one it's a bit weaker for a tribute summon but being able to draw cards is way too good we also have three dd assailant uh there's not a lot of removal and so having this i feel like we're going to be pretty far ahead of ruxin but we'll have to see we have a doom shaman which for all intents and purposes is just a 2400 normal summon but that's good enough we have neos alias as a 1900 beater a gaga -ga gardna which can actually like sort of battle fader himself out which is kind of cool also just a 2k defender grass chopper is a 2350 tribute summon that if we can gemini summon it can actually attack all monsters so that's kind of cool three copies of gravatic orb i think this is a nice pseudo 
pseudo piece of removal because it can change the battle positions of stuff. Then we can go in with some of our monsters and try to take the board back. So I really like this card. Two copies of Kage to Kage. This like in tandem with Gravatic Orb is nice because if Ruxin has two monsters, then everything gets shifted to defense. Next turn, we normal summon special Kage to Kage and we can just like go in. So that seems kind of cool. We have three Neo Space Pathfinder just as an 1800 body. A White Horn Dragon, which can actually be a fairly large tribute summon if Ruxin plays a decent amount of spells. A copy of Zubaba Knight, which actually, if it attacks a face-up defense position monster, destroys it. So it's like Ninja Grandmaster Sasuke, even though it's a little bit weaker. I figure we are going to have some 2k defenders in here, so this could be pretty good. Three Alien Shock Trooper, one of the best normal summons we have. Two copies of La Jin, and three copies of Renge Gatekeeper of Dark World. 2100 defender, nothing to scoff at, actually, straight out of Tactical Evolution. So that's it for the monsters. Uh, 26 of them. There's a lot. For the spells, Creature Seizure. This card's like Creature Swap, except we have to give our opponent a normal monster. We have eight, so that seems pretty likely. If we give them a range in exchange for their best monster, that seems pretty good. Uh, also, Double Summon can help us like fight for the board a little bit, so I kind of like it. Phalanx Pike is actually pretty sick because we have a lot of duplicate monsters in here, so if we can get Alien Shock Trooper to like 2700, uh, or excuse me, 2800, that seems pretty good. One Symbols of Duty as Monster Reborn effectively, we can set like a range to the graveyard to just resurrect any monster. That seems pretty good to me. We have a Tilted Try. This is actually a field spell from one of our later packs. It might have been Blazing Vortex. When you draw for your normal draw phase, you can reveal that card, put it on the bottom of your deck, and draw another card. If I've learned anything from these sealed sets, it's that when you have card draw in any capacity, it's probably worth playing. So being able to just to dig deeper every single turn for a card that we want to see, I think I want to give this card a shot. And then for the traps, Butter Spy Protection changes a face-up attack position monster to face-up defense. Also halves battle damage we take for the turn. So that's kind of cool. Two common charity, which is draw two and banish one. So it's like a lure of darkness, except for normal monsters. And we do have a few of these. So again, card draw is pretty good in these formats. Three shield spear, which gives our monster 400 attack or defense. And three strike slash, which gives it 700 attack. But we need to be attacking is the only downside here. But I think that's worth it because that effectively makes this removal. The extra decks just all matters of nonsense. Uh, a few of these cards could come up like mech quipped Angineer is playable. And so is crazy box. Although I think we'd have to be like behind for us to want to commit to a crazy box, but it's 3000 attack. So it's kind of hard to get over, but we'll see if any of these come up. Then for the side deck, another par shaft, we have a go, go, go giant, which for all intents and purposes is a 2000 normal summon. We have Machina Unklesbar. I probably butchered the name of that, but this is just an 1800 normal summon three phantom cricket. This is a flip effect that returns a face down monster from the field to the top of its owner's deck. So if we're ahead and we set a phantom cricket, we can bounce one of Ruxin's cards. And that way we get really ahead on tempo Two razor lizard. I was main decking this, but I figure I want to see how the game goes first. As long as we have another reptile, if this attacks a face down defense, it's like Sasuke Samurai where it just pops it immediately. So that's kind of cool. Two Spriggan's Pedor. This is just a 2k defender and Spriggan's Rocky is an 1800 attacker. Two Hunter Dragon. This is like the next best beater at 1700 and two copies of Snake Whistle. When a reptile is destroyed, we can special summon a level four lower reptile from our deck. This is actually not bad with like Razor Lizard and Kage to Kage because it gets us immediately to Alien Shock Trooper. So I don't want to discount this actually. I think this card's actually not too bad, especially because we have a decent reptile package. But guys, this is going to be a clusterfuck of an episode. I can't wait to see what Ruxin brought to the table. So ladies and gentlemen, it's time to duel. So buddy, uh, for the worst Yu-Gi-Oh sets of all time, uh, how are you feeling about this one? Oh, this is gonna be fantastic. I can't wait for everyone to see this awesome deck that I just put together. It's gonna perform super well. Uh, really proud of our guys out there. Oh, sorry, I don't know what I'm talking about here. <laughs> <laughs> I honestly don't think it was as bad as I was expecting it to be. Um, and we'll talk about this at the end because obviously I don't want to spoil things, but I think for me, I don't know about you, I feel like things slowly came together. Uh, so we'll see if that holds true or not, but I'm ready if you are, buddy. This is going to be a, uh, a weird one for sure. This is definitely going to be <laughs> a weird one. Let's go ahead and shout the patron. It is Donovan Williams. Thank you for the support and Ruxin, not thank you for making me lose that double. Yeah, all right. Go ahead. <laughs> okay, I think we're just going to go first. Uh, do I get an extra card here, by the way? Uh, you should. Yeah, screw it. Just take an all extra right, card. Take... Let's, just, let's, just, let's just make it standard. You yeah. always get an extra card for Sealed Showdown. Whatever. Yeah. Or not Sealed Showdown. <laughs> auction Series. Yeah, Too many. this other one. Uh, to be fair, this felt like a Sealed Showdown with the Tactical Evolution pack. <laughs> it did, it did. Okay, uh, I'll take my card then. 
Oh my goodness. <laughs> How you feeling, buddy? Oh, I'm feeling great. Okay, let's see. What do we want to do here? Oh, this is fantastic. Um, I'm going to activate hand destruction. <laughs> Christ. Okay. Uh, I will pitch common charity. Oh! And do I want to go again? Honestly, uh, this is a tough one. Oh. Actually, I guess I'm gonna go double common charity. You are playing two common charity. Well, that's interesting. Uh, I'll discard a common charity. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right. We are on some interesting things here. This card's pretty good. This card's pretty it good. It is pretty good. I'm going to send this fossil tusker to the graveyard if okay, if I can press the right button. All right. Fossil tusker. Hey. Okay, he's not bad. He's okay. He's a he's a bit of a chonker. Yeah, he's not bad. He's, he's something, I guess. Uh okay, I'll draw two. <laughs> go to the grave. Okay, now what do we do on turn one? I kind of wish I went second now. Um I'm just going to I'm just I'm just going to pass. What? Go ahead. Okay, now I'm confused. You're uh, not doing anything? Uh, well, activated hand destruction, so it's something. I mean, <laughs> I guess, but that's not like... Okay, I'm so lost now. All right. Oh, uh, so you are on common charity. Okay. You got some normal monsters in there for sure. I mean, there's some good normal monsters uh, in Tactical Evolution. Right, we so both had a lot of I, those. Yeah, and I also learned from doing these series so much, anytime you can just have semi-playable draw power, it's probably worth it just yeah. to dig through your deck a little bit right. more. Uh, so I, I probably would have also played Hand Destruction if I had it. Yeah. So nice call. Um, I don't know what you're up to, but I kind of just want to go crazy because oh, I can. Crazy, I, yeah. I don't know, like... Yeah, let's go for it. I'm going to normal summon Neos Alias. Okay. Uh, ultimate rare Neos oh, Alias, actually. Oh, that one's pretty yeah. nice. That's pretty nice. Uh, and since I actually normal summoned, I am going to special summon Kage Tokage. Oh! So we're going to hit for 3,000 damage uh, and just start getting in. Uh, which will you be attacking with first? What the fuck do you have? I'll hit the Kage Tokage. <laughs> okay, I'll take 11. Okay, then 19 on the alias. Uh, I'm going to... Uh, since you declared a special... Or a direct attack, I'm going to special summon my... Kreeble. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> okay, so you can special summon uh, actually, it. And if I want to do... put it in attack mode, by the way. Uh, sure, it, that's fine. Okay. And so it changes the attack target to this card and proceed to damage calc. If you would take battle damage from that battle, you gain that much life points. Ah, what a holiday present for you, yeah. buddy. Okay, sure. So you'll gain 1600 here? Yeah. I will gain my 16 okay. there, and then we're going to lose this guy. He's going to go to the graveyard. Okay. Oh, I so he doesn't Oops. stay on the field. That would have been better if he stayed. Let's, but, uh, uh, let's fix what I just did right there. Yep, gain your life. You get 16, then 16. Right, uh, and it. then do I want to make a rank four? Oh, hmm. my goodness. <laughs> uh, I'm just going to pass. I'm, oh, okay. I, right. I'll, I'll stick with my little lizard, man. That sounds good. Okay. Okay. Now what are we going to do? This is an interesting one. On the Karibo. <laughs> Karibo. Is that how you pronounce it? I don't it? know. Curry I was trying to figure that out too. I don't know how you say that. I think it's like noble. So it's like Karibo. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen this card in my life. This is so wow. Yeah, I had never seen that either. So that was fun. That, I guess, was the Santa Karibo. Okay. That's cute. He's very adorable, I will say. Okay. Um, I'm going to normal summon a very familiar card in my main phase. Uh, Neos Alias. Okay, you got one too. Now, right. Is yours ultimate rare as well? Um, I didn't check, to be honest. So oh, <laughs> it's okay. probably just a regular rare. <laughs> I'm uh, surprised. Is the pack opener not checking the rarity? Yeah, well, it does, it's, it's not real. Tisk, so tisk. You, can't tell, you can only tell if it's hollow on the opener. Maybe they need to make an ultimate rare, add that to the... the That's thing, true. So. I'm going to go to battle. I'm going to hit over your, uh, your lizard salamander thing here. All right, so I'll take 800 from that. He'll perish. Okay, main phase two. I'm going to set a card, and I'm going to end my turn. Okay, this is a bit scary because we do have some uh, interesting cards in this set yeah, that can tilt battle in different ways. Yeah, uh, and they're commons in Tactical Evolution. So this is kind of like Tactical Evolution plus the other stuff we got in the auction, uh -huh. I feel like, is what this became. Uh, I am going to run out. Oh, boy. You're going to be sad when you realize what you missed out on I here. I am very sad, yes. So, buddy, uh, remember Destiny Board Traveler? Oh, I remember it, yeah. Yeah. Uh, do you want to know what was in there that I was very excited about? I guess I have to know. 
I am going to normal summon. DD Assailant. Oh my goodness. He's pretty good, right? You gotta be kidding me. <laughs> He's not bad. He's pretty good. Uh, let's go to battle. I actually let's swing knew this was in here now that I think about it. DBT. Okay, you're gonna swing into me. That is, okay, that's fine. So I'll take the two and then I'll banish. All right, that's fine. And then we'll hit for 19 direct. Um. Does he have something? You know what? Do you have another no, curry bobble? No, that, that's fine. <laughs> I'll take it. Okay. And then second main, I'm going to play a card. Uh, this is basically my hand destruction. I'm going to activate Tilted Try. Um, so you've probably never seen this card in your life because I, I, I not, haven't either. No. So what this card does is during my draw phase, I can reveal the card that I draw. And if I want to, I can put it on the bottom of the deck and draw a new card instead. And uh, I can just do that every single turn. Wow, that's so, actually pretty good. I actually think for this series, this is not bad. We're going to find out if that's the case. I'm just going to pass. It also gives us a nice little background for our uh, game to be played on here. I like the background, but man, we are playing some bad cards. Okay. <laughs> okay. We're playing some bad cards. We are playing some real bad cards. Well, DD Assailant's actually maybe the best card in the okay, whole Assailant package is that I got. Incredible. But... That's a very good card, especially for this format. Yeah. I was actually shocked you didn't know that that was in uh, Destiny. Okay, Board I, or maybe you I, just didn't put two and two together. I did. I just, I just didn't think about it for some. But I'll also, here's why I didn't really care because it was in that situation where I was kind of stuck up a rock and hard place with the next one being 10. right with the money. So yeah, that's I, true. I did. I was like, well, I gotta at least make him tie me. And then after that, it was like, do I want these enough to give up the last one? And it was the answer was no. Sure. So I, I honestly Fair. maybe should have been, but it would have been 24 packs. Would have missed out honestly a lot of my cards. So. That's true. I, I don't That's know. True. It was a tough decision there, but okay. You wouldn't have had that Neos alias. All right, let's see what I you got. I wouldn't have that Neos alias. That is for sure. Okay. Speaking of Neos alias, uh, let's summon Oh my him God, again. he got another uh, one. So one of them might've been ultimate rare. It's possible. Let's, <laughs> I'm going to go to battle. <laughs> Great. You going to shield spear me, buddy? No, I'm just going to crash. going to crash. Okay, sure. All right. Yeah. Um, so that's going to go to graveyard. All right. Main phase two. Uh, I guess uh, that's it for me. This is a very exciting game. A lot of epic very gameplay going riveting. on here. Yeah. Riveting. Neos Alias. Okay. I will draw. Um, you want to activate your hmm. uh, your goblin over here? Um, uh, I might have gotten this is a t this is a tough one. I actually don't want oh, to activate you got something pretty it. I actually think then. this card might this card could be useful. I'm just oh, gonna set and pass. Down. Go okay. ahead. Uh oh, okay, interesting. Would you like to summon the third Neo Salius? Ah, uh, that's the question. Okay, that is oh, that's that's a play. Okay, um, main phase one, normal summon, Gym Knight Garnet. Okay, it's not. Neo Salius, but it might as well it be. Might as sure. well. It's got a little bit less defense, but then I'm going to activate my Swing of Memories. Oh, and Neo Salius is a normal he's, monster. He's treated as a okay. normal monster, so we're going to special summon him in attack. That's pretty good. So, sure. All right, we're going to go to battle. Okay. I'll attack with the alias. Oh, this goes. To it me. is my oh. Renge, Gatekeeper of Dark oh. World, you fool. Oh, I was hoping you weren't on this guy. All right, I'm going to take 200. <laughs> No one will get past his colossal size head. <laughs> That's true. That's something. Okay. In that case, all right, we're going to go to main two. I'm going to activate Symbols of Duty. Oh, my God. This is so good. Your hand was cracked. So, this is nuts. Okay, so I'm going to send to Grave my alias because he's got to go for the Swig of Memories anyway. Right, because he's going to get destroyed in the okay, end phase. I'm right? going to I'm gonna get your Neos alias. Okay, sure. And... So I can keep that alias out there. And then I'm going to end my turn. That's unfortunately you That's... had a 2100 though. I was going to work better if you didn't have that. I do. And you know, I get a little bit of value there. So that's not bad. Okay. So I'm going to draw. Do I want to fire this tilted try? Uh, I got to be honest. I'm actually kind of liking some of the cards that I'm drawing. Uh, so I, like I it. don't, I don't think I actually want to use it. So I'm actually just going to go into main phase one. I am going to sacrifice his renowned oh. athletic physique for Doom Shaman. Oh. Oh, you got the Doom Shaman. He was a super, the, or is he an ulti? Did you get an ulti version? I think he was like a super or something. Yeah, I don't think I got oh, an ulti of this. Uh, rough, but yeah. for all intents and purposes, he's a 2400 big ass guy. So let's yep. go to battle. Let's go ahead and hit into. I don't know if it really matters. I guess I'll hit into Garnet. Okay. Oh, actually, no, I'll hit into Alias. I'll hit into Alias. We'll hit Alias. All right, I'll take 500. Defense points could matter, I suppose. Yeah. Uh, and second main, I'm actually going to set a card, and I'll pass the turn. Okay, this is fantastic. Okay, what are we going to do here? This is this is rough. Uh, we do have... All right, I'm going to set a card, and I'm going to pass. Sure. Okay. So we'll draw. Oh, 
man, damn. Like, I was really hoping to, like, show off this field spell, but, like, every card <laughs> I keep drawing, it's, like, not bad. It seems uh, okay. Uh, yeah, I guess I'll keep that one. Sure. Okay, so I'll go to main one. What else? I know there's Shield Spear. That could be, like, somewhat of a problem. I think I'm just going to go for it. I'm going to run out Alien Shock Trooper. Oh, he's getting big here. We'll go to battle. Let's attack with the Doom Shaman. Okay, I'll take 500. And then I'll attempt to hit for 19 as well. Uh, I'm going to activate uh, Flute of Summoning Karibo. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> oh, this synergizes with your fucking Karibo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. Uh, yes, it does. Okay, in this case, I think I'm going to special summon in defense mode the regular old Karibo. Okay. Uh, we'll just have him hit into it then. Okay. And second main, I think I'm chilling. Go ahead, buddy. All right. Ooh. Ah, oh, <laughs> come on. All right, this is interesting. I will say this is about what I expected of this episode, just as, as much <laughs> jank as uh, humanly possible. Yep, that's, <laughs> that is exactly what this is. Okay, <laughs> this is rough. Okay, we're gonna go to main one. I'm gonna, I'm going to set a monster and end my turn. Okay, let's go ahead and draw. Damn, like all of these draws, it's, uh, they're just like lining up like this. That card's like not bad oh, either. I wish um, I could say the same. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, I, I, I guess I'll keep it. Okay. We'll go to main one. I'm going to do something fun. I'm going to do something that I'm probably never going to do again in my life. Oh. So I'm going to savor this. Okay. I am going to Gemini summon Doom Shaman. Right. Yep. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to now use the Gemini ability of Doom Shaman to special summon a fiend from either my hand or graveyard. And guess what, buddy? Wrench is a fiend. Ah, what a stud. <laughs> synergy, yeah, synergy. All right, let's go to battle. Let's just hit with the Doom Shaman. Um, all right, it's going to go. Blaze Wing Butterfly. That's a super too. Yeah, okay. Yeah, all right. And good. we'll hit with the Shock Trooper. All it's right. not bad. That card's actually okay. All right. And then second main, I'm gonna set another card and we'll throw it over. Okay, okay, whoo. I wonder what you got back there. This is gonna be, okay, this is interesting. This changes it up a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna normal summon your Senju Kama too. That's not bad. Okay. Uh, immediately after this effect resolves of the summon, I'm going to normal summon a your Senju Kama one. Oh, these are real cards. Yeah. Yeah, they're decent. Uh, okay. Okay, and uh, if you control another Senju monster, you can target one face-up monster for controls. Your opponent controls return to the hand. I will target the Doom Shaman. Yeah, uh, that just happened. Okay, uh, so then unfortunately, that will trigger the effect of Doom Shaman, and my range will actually be Leave destroyed. The field, which is very nice. All right. Yes. So, now that we've done that, let's head to battle. Sure. Okay, uh, your Senju Kama 2 can attack directly, but the battle damage is half, so I'm going to attack directly. So I'll take nine here. I'll take nine, yep. Uh, go to main two, and these will return to hand in the end phase. So I'm going to return to hand. Correct. So these go back. I have your senjus. That's scary. Those things are good. And then I will end my turn. So a little low over here on the life points, but. We'll draw. Uh, not going to tilt to try because I got exactly what I wanted, which is another shock trooper. Oh, my goodness. Question is, is it enough to clean it up? Oh my goodness, you got another one. That's it. Oh, oh the okay. are good, All right. But you have your Senju's, dude. What uh, the hell? Oh, they came too late. They would have been perfect uh, like a turn before. Okay. Oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah. I mean, uh, it's game, that's just game one. Just we still game got one. more, but that's scary. That's scary. That's uh, something. It was just too late. I needed the other Yosinju. It would have been perfect, but you just had just enough attack power to end me. Also, that 2100 range I, was, was pretty annoying. I mean, yeah, but I mean, you know, I was feeling pretty, pretty good about my DD assailants until now that I saw you have Yosinjus. <laughs> uh, this is a much different game now. Uh, it's like, go ahead. You get to go first again and you get to draw your card. So let's see it. Good luck, buddy. Draw for turn. Let's not forget that. Uh, let's go to main one, and I'm going to set a card, and I'm going to pass. Go ahead. All right. Uh, we'll draw. You're probably on a range of your own, but there's, like, a few things you could set, I suppose. Uh, I'll do the same. Oh, I'll just set and pass. Set well. and pass. All right. All right. I'm... 
Yeah, we'll see whose renowned <laughs> athletic physique is superior. We will find <laughs> out, I guess. Uh, let's go to main one. You've got a set card. You did play range last time, which is 2100. I'm not going to be able to normal summon anything better than that. I'm going to start off by flip summoning my... You got a fucking crystal seer? <laughs> I'm going to exhumate the top two cards. So let's... Uh... Oh my god. Let's mill one. This card is so okay, good. Okay, so I get to pick one and put the other on the bottom of my deck. I am going to uh, add the common charity. And sure. I'm going to place the Kribo to the bottom of my deck. Okay. All right, now what do I want to do? What do I want to do about that thing? I still can't believe you got a crystal seer. That's crazy. Yeah, that's an ultra rare, so that's that's not bad. Yeah. Um, it's also like a very good it's also ultra pretty rare. Good. <laughs> it's also pretty good. I actually didn't notice I pulled it during the opening, and I went back through my cards, and I was like, wait a second, I pulled this? <laughs> oh, so that's that hilarious. So that was great. I'm sure people were like, you missed yeah. it, Crystal Seer. All right. Also just a beautiful ultimate rare, but continue. Yeah, yeah, continue. yeah that's true. I've got, a, I've got a couple of options. I'm going to summon I'm gonna summon my fossil Tusker. Oh, he's yeah, back. He's back. He's going to do something. He's Tusking. He's tusking. I'm going to go to battle, attacking your okay. face down. But his physique is not renowned no, enough. No, <laughs> not again. I was hoping it wasn't him. All right, it is It is the boy. Okay, main phase two. I'm going to... Uh, <laughs> I'm going to Link Summon. <laughs> My Link Karibo! Link Karibo! That's so good! All right. That's so good! It, it was pretty good. That was in the advent calendar, so uh, pretty decent. Oh, it was. It's interesting because when you flip the crystal serum, you're just going to leave it yeah. out, but no. Yeah, Link it's Karibo, got a little bit of something go. to go to it. Uh, I'm going to set two cards Ooh. and then i'm gonna let you do your worst which i'm scared i mean you have that tribute summonable monster it's pretty scary uh we'll see uh definitely leaves a lot to be desired okay so you probably set the common charity i'd imagine uh can't do much about that i guess we go for it there's really not much else we can be doing here so i suppose Pose, I will go ahead and run out the Neos alias. All right, Neos alias, that's fine. I'm just gonna go to battle and hit into the Link Karibo. Um, all right, I'll, I'll just activate his effect and uh, tribute him and make you zero. All right, yep. So we'll send that to grave. And so, pretty much got rid of him. That's all we wanted right. to do. Didn't want to hit into Tusker while I was doing that. Uh, second main, I'm just chilling. All right, go ahead. Um, huh? Okay, <laughs> that's interesting. I'm gonna normal summon Alien Shock Trooper. Sure. I'm gonna go to battle. Okay. I'm going to hit into your alias. We're, We're going to crash. crash. Okay. All right. And then at the end of the battle phase, which is right now, you can discard this card and target one monster in your graveyard that was destroyed by battle and sent there this turn. Special summon it. So I'm going to discard my Karibo RN. Karibo. Oh my God. <laughs> it's Kariborn. Kariborn. Oh okay, my that's God. How you say this that. is so good. That is this is so, so I'm gonna good. Bring back this monster my, reward. Yeah, I'm going to bring back my alien shock trooper. Let's see if I want to do anything. Well, we're going to go to main two now. Okay, let's see. Do we want to do anything else this turn? I think that is fine for now. So go ahead. Okay. I mean, that was pretty productive in all yeah, fairness. It's something, but that uh, range so. is it's just a wall. It's... Well, you know, his renowned athletic physique. What do you expect from good a man of his point. stature? I suppose I'm going to run out a shock trooper. All right. Own. Okay. Let's try to hit over the Fossil Tusker. Hit over the Fossil Tusker. That is fine. I will take 100. Sure. And I will just throw it over to you, buddy. Okay. Nice little slow we game we got. got. Nice got a little slow, slow one game. going here. All right. Until you curry born Until me I again. Until I curry born you again. That is true. All right. I'm going to uh, normal summon Yosinju, comma two. Then I'm going to normal summon my Yosinju L is what I'm going to call him. When he's normal summon, okay. change it to defense mode. Sounds All good. All right. Uh, then he's, he's big. pretty big, 2100. It can match the range, his athletic physique, but it's more of a, I don't know what this guy is to be honest, but <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go to battle. I'm going to attack you directly for 900. All right. I'll take the nine. All right, I'm going to go to main two in phase. This is going to come back to my hand and I will pass it over. All right. You've got me on like a 10 turn clock. 10 turns, rate, slow and, and steady. Uh, the the shit you L isn't bad because it's 2100. Right. Like, I have to get over it eventually. And, so which I know you have can to with give that, it a that Doom Shaman. I can. Uh, that required me to have the Doom Shaman, uh, which I do not. However, uh, I will tribute the Renge mm. for my Grass uh, I Chopper. I figured you had this. I figured you had this. <laughs> This card's not bad. It's okay. Uh, so let's go to battle. I'm going to attempt to attack your Shichu L. Um, I'm going to activate my... 
Pianissimo. <laughs> oh my god. So you're going to make my monster's no. original attack become no, a hundred. You oh. control, so it just cannot be destroyed by battle or card effects. Oh, so you're just gonna protect, I'm gonna protect it. it. Okay. It's a pretty bad card. Interesting. <laughs> I mean, it keeps it alive it for does. a turn, which isn't terrible. Yep. I guess I'll trade shock troopers here. Okay. And I will throw it over right, to you. Come on, heart of the cards here. That's uh, not what we're looking for. <laughs> All right. <laughs> um, get a normal summon. Go to battle. Okay. The comma two's back. Gonna and hit, hit direct. direct for nine. Yep. Uh, gonna come back to my hand. Uh, oh wait, sorry. Let's let's do in main two. I want to set one card, and then in phase come back. All right, sounds good. Go ahead. Uh, okay, no comma one. I'm happy to see that. No comma one. We'll go ahead and draw. Let's go ahead and run ourselves out a shock trooper. Okay. I'm gonna go to battle. We're gonna try this again with grass chopper. Uh, that is fine. And we'll try to hit for nineteen. We'll try to hit for nineteen. Hmm. Which Karibo do you have that this is time? The that is the question. Here's the answer. <laughs> oh, not again. Okay, sure. Okay. So I imagine you want to put him in attack to yes, gain the life yes, point. Sorry. So you'll gain 1,600. Yes. And then second main, I just have a set card, and I'll throw it over okay, to you. Okay, all right. This is interesting. Now you've got comma two in hand. If you start chaining some of those you send you together, this is going to get, uh, it will get, get kind of ugly. That's for sure. I'm going to set a card this time. And I'm going okay. to end my turn. Go ahead. All right. We'll draw. That's not bad. Uh, I'm going to main one. I am going to common charity. Yep, that's pretty good. So we're going to draw two more. And we are going to banish a normal monster. So we'll get rid of this ah, other wrench. wrench that we have here. Okay. I'm going to run out a Neo Space Pathfinder. Just an 1800 yeah, 1800 body. 1800 body, oh. that is fine. Not bad. Uh, then I'm going to equip my alien shock trooper with Phalanx uh, Pike. I was wondering if you would have this. It's pretty good. Now, this card's pretty sick. It gains yeah. 900 attack for the same name in either grave. And I have a shock trooper, but so oh, do you, buddy. So this goodness. shock trooper is 3,700 Unbelievable. attack. Unbelievable. <laughs> that is insane. We're going to go battle. Let's grass chopper in. All right. This is going to be a wing Karibo. Oh, so no, no battle, battle damage. damage. All right. So you survive to live another day. Uh, with that, I will just pass the turn. But uh, next turn, my shock trooper, he's going to be hunting. Okay. Uh, I'm going to activate my common charity as well. Okay. Uh, I'm going to draw two cards. Hmm, okay. I'm going to send to the graveyard my own wrench. Okay. Sorry, let me banish the wrench. Okay, there we go. <laughs> All <laughs> right. Go. Okay, this is a tough spot. This is a tough spot. Let's see what we can do. Got a couple options. I'm going to summon my Yosenju Kama. We're going to okay. go to battle. I'm going to attack you directly. Just going to hit me for nine yeah. again. Main okay. two. I'm going to set a card in phase. This is going to come back to my hand. And I'm going to end my turn. Now you've got me a bit worried. The fact that you just did that didn't really hesitate all that much. Just kind of ran them out. You got a bunch of Karibos, so maybe you just have a way to not die is what I'm thinking. Could be another way to get to like wing Karibo or something. Uh, Okay, well, if I run out this Pathfinder, if you don't have anything, I have you dead okay. here. So this is going to demand some answer out of you. So let's start by hitting for 18. Okay, let's see. What do we want to do here? From my graveyard, I do have the second effect of Kribo Reborn. When he declares an attack, this has another you can banish effect? from your graveyard, target any number of Kribo monsters in your graveyard and special summon them. Oh my god, that's so, so good. I'm going to okay. special summon my Link Kribo, first of all. Then I'm sure. going to special summon my Wing Kribo. I'm going to special mm -hmm. summon my Kribo, or whatever it's called. And okay. that should be it. Okay, so let's redeclare attacks here. Uh, I'm gonna go Pathfinder into Link Karibo. Um, yeah, I will. Yeah, I'll just make it zero. Okay. Then let's go Pathfinder into Karibo. Karibo. <laughs> yeah, okay, that's fine. Uh, and then let's go Grass Chopper into Wing Karibo. Okay. That's. All I can really do, because Wing Karibo triggers, you're not going to take any more battle damage. Yep. So I will go to second main. I will just set a card and throw it over to okay. you, buddy. 
Hmm. Curry born is such a crazy Curry, card. Yeah, What's the hell? I was like, this. That's if so I nuts. actually play the Karibos, it's pretty good. But the problem is, you have to play the Karibos. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Saved you twice. I mean, that's it's not true. Bad. Did. Oh, that huge shock trooper is just he's unreal. Massive. It's I mean, unreal. He's swole. Yeah, <laughs> that is unreal. Okay. I expect that you have a shield spear set right here. I mean, that card's just been waiting. That's Possibly. what it seems like it would be. I mean, there's a lot of bad cards in this set. So, I mean, it's got to be that. Is that complicating it's things complicating for you, buddy? Things for sure. Oh, uh, this, is, this is. There's no good options here. I'm gonna normal summon my alien shock trooper. Okay. All right, I'm gonna go to battle. Sure. I'm gonna hit into your pathfinder. Hmm. I'll take a hundred. Okay. <laughs> You're probably not expecting to get uh, that far. <laughs> I'm not, but here's the problem. This guy goes to the grave. Your guy becomes like a billion attack points. So. Uh, oh yeah, it's gonna get even better. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna end my turn. Go ahead. <laughs> That's why I thought this card was gonna just be exceptional, uh, just because yeah. of us playing I didn't a think lot about of duplicates. The fact that, that it was both graveyards is actually really insane. Yeah, I, I thought it was just yours, but when I saw it was both, I thought, oh, this is yeah. amazing. Actually, okay. Well, don't think we can clean it up, unfortunately, because Shock Trooper is something we need to deal with. So I suppose we should do that. I will run out a DD ah, assailant. Of course. All right. Let's go to battle, and I guess I can attack with Grass Chopper pretty safely. Yeah. Here. Okay. So I'll take. It's got four hundred. It's got fifty more than the Shield Spear boost. It does. So. <laughs> That's actually, I mean, it matters, so. Make sure you lose the 450, oh, not I'm game the 450. Here. Okay, so I lose 900. <laughs> it's All right, fine. go ahead. All right, and then 17. Yeah, that's fine. How about 18? Uh, also fine. And then this Goliath of a Shock Trooper is 19 plus 27, so he's 4,600 <laughs> attack because we have another oh, Shock Trooper in gray. that hurts. <laughs> So close, so close. All right, second main. No Gaga Ga Cowboy, That's unfortunately. Good, yeah. uh, I think I'm just passing All it over. Right. Go ahead. Oh my goodness, <laughs> what in the world? <laughs> okay, all right, this is a play. Oh God, I, that does not sound confident. Oh all right. My goodness, it's, uh, it's not good though, unfortunately. What is it? Uh, okay, all right, well, I'm gonna normal summon Goggle Golem. Okay. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I don't I don't know if it's gonna matter enough, but I'm gonna activate creature seizure. Creature seizure. Now fortunately you need a normal he's a, monster. He's a Gemini. Oh he's, he's a, a Gemini. Oh that's right. I forgot. Yeah, but the problem you Okay, this is awkward because it's like <sighs> I can give you my weakest monster's assailant, but assailant is, you know, a big boy. I guess I just give you the Pathfinder. Yeah, okay. All right, and then um, I am going to chain to the effect of that and activate okay. Spell Reclamation. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, so you're going to add it back to yeah, your hand? So I have to discard a card, yeah. <laughs> so I have to discard a card, uh, add this back to my hand. <laughs> sure. <laughs> okay, we have, a, we have a card. It's not fantastic. Um, unfortunately, this is not a normal monster, so I can't activate it again. Um That'd been that would have been funny. Interesting. So, uh, unfortunately, creature seizure gives you the option. Otherwise, it would actually be good. But yeah, if you could pick, like, that then would be I could crazy. get your sock trooper and just run over you. But hmm. All right, battle. Attack. Yep. I'll take the three. All right, main phase two. End our turn. <laughs> We'll draw. Uh, I'm going to Gemini summon the Grass Chopper right. just because I can. All right, can. respect. Let's go Shock Trooper into the path. I will activate my Shield Spear. Okay, <laughs> good thing I did that with Shock Trooper. Okay. <laughs> Wouldn't have mattered, oh, but still. Oh, <laughs> my deck is so bad. <laughs> what a nightmare. Uh, oh, my okay, God. Just... Good games, though. Like, I actually felt this wasn't too bad on my end, but, like, oh, you're yeah. showing me. Oh, my <laughs> God. Like, our deck's actually we looked pretty similar yeah, if to be I fair. I just played the Karibos, but man, there was it was uh yeah, it was interesting for sure. And it, the tributes, like you get the tribute out, it's it's tough to do anything. Right, because we don't have a lot oh, of removal I don't think I, in I our think set. The only removal I had was like symbols of I mean symbols of duty doesn't even remove. It was uh I had like two cards. Technically like shield spear. Shield spear like, is the is only removable. battle trap that I had. And then everything else right. was just like random cards, like, you know, creature seizure. Uh, I was playing this 
Pianissimo, like Pianissimo or whatever this is. Uh, just just it, random cards. I was playing the Creature Seizure, yeah. too. I mean, that's so, pretty like, good. I don't blame you, because I think the card's That's good. pretty good. Yeah. But just, oh, man, it was... Like, what other, what other cards was I even playing? I was playing the Rainbow Creep, though, <laughs> that you had the other game. <laughs> I saw. I saw. I also thought that, like, Flute of Summoning Karibo isn't bad because getting a Karibo yeah. that you can just sack for, like, a tribute. Yeah. Like, there's not a lot of ways for us to just special summon a guy I, out onto the field. I never drew my tributes. I had two Grass Chompers and the Doom Shaman as well. And I saw. I never I saw. drew them. So that was great. Fantastic. And and I uh, the yeah, problem I, with the Osinjus is the good one, the one that bounces, I have only pulled one. I was just about to ask. I think you had three comma uh -huh. two and only one comma right. one. So it kind of right? messed me so, up. Like if I had had the one instead of the two this game and I could have used the other pendulum guy with him, then I could have just been bouncing cards and it would have been really good. Yeah, exactly. Like if you got established that way yeah. and that actually blanks a lot of the tribute summons right. then as well because then it really sets you back on tempo that way. But yeah, I mean, it's cool that we had a lot of the shell of Tactical Evolution, yeah. right? But then we both had, like, different decks. And so I can mail out my deck here for you to see. But, uh, I mean, we were going along similar lines. Whitehorn Instead Dragon. of the Karibos, I got a Whitehorn Dragon from the McDonald's pack. Which, to be in. fair, you were playing a decent amount of spells. I thought Whitehorn Dragon's, like, the biggest yeah. tribute that we have yeah. access to. So I'm like, okay, that's not terrible. But overall, I would say you just swap out the Karibos for maybe some more traps yeah. on my end. And our decks looked yeah. very identical. I literally went through every spell and trap card trying. I think I played like 25 monsters. And I was just looking for something decent. And I missed this. Yeah. The Phalanx Pike was the only good card. And I didn't play it. Did you pull? Oh, so you pulled, pulled one. one. I pulled one of them. And I read it and I was like... Yeah. I was like, oh, I only played like three copies of two different cards. And I didn't actually notice that it was on both sides and if i had noticed that i was like well he probably is gonna play alien shock to which would have been smart but i didn't pay attention enough to it because i was just thinking man these these are so bad and then it was actually pretty good <laughs> if we both didn't get tactical evolution like 24 packs of it i probably wouldn't have played yeah. this but that was my logic for like thinking like oh this card could actually be really right. crazy if this goes i was worried about if i just had shock trooper plus phalanx pike if you just creature seizured it i'm probably yeah. dead because then i have like no way to get rid of it but yeah, I mean, overall, I think we just had, like, a pretty... It, like, I didn't think it was as bad as it was going to be. Like, it was bad, but it actually uh, it actually ended up being okay, I feel like. I definitely think these assailants were, like, the MVP for me. Because just having so little removal, yeah, being able to nice. just have a big beater and something that can take out a big threat as well, like if you got to a Grass Chopper or a Doom Shaman or something, uh, it just, it, that was so yeah, worth it Yeah, you could just in, set this so card was, if I get anything big and, like, there it goes. Like... So even if I yeah. did, like, Creature Seizure, your Alien Shock Trooper, like, let's say that had happened, you were going to be able to remove it with the next turn with DD Assailant. Right. Or, or at least exactly. put it in defense I, mode and, like, make me take over. I was also on this card, too. I'm not sure if you saw this. It's Gravatic I, Orb. I almost, uh, I almost played orb. it, and then I was thinking, uh, I just didn't play it. I It's not bad. Honestly, it would have been great here because it would have turned the Alien Shock Trooper into defense mode. Um Right. But I was just like, are flips going to be good? And I, they should have been good. I mean, they were good because it was so slow. So I should have played this. I had it I had it written down. I was like, this might be a card I play. And I did it. <laughs> I, I figure it's like half removal. Yeah. You know, it changes everything to defense. And as long as you have something that can hit over it, then like that is the full removal yeah. aspect. So I thought, eh, okay. And like, yeah, in the instance of this alien shock trooper, Phalanx Pike only boosts attack. So like that was a way to like yeah. clear it. So uh, I actually had a couple of these in my hand. I just never needed to play them. But yeah, I thought that card was like kind of neat. Just some interesting strategies we had to come up with for oh, the yeah, series for, for sure. sure. And uh, I thought the Karibo strat was actually pretty nice because not only is it just really defensive for you, but also just like the fact that, like I said, gives right. you tribute fodder because of was so many Karibos. Happen, that's pretty, but that's nice. And even the, uh, the thing I was thinking about with the Karibo Reborn is uh, first, its first effect gives you tribute fodder, and then its second effect can give you tri tribute fodder. I just never right, got the tribute, right. so it's actually that's exactly. actually a crazy card if you play like multiple Karibos. It it actually got to show. It I off. think so, yeah. And like when Karibo is like good enough just to play by right. itself because it blends. And then the fact phase, that you can right? search I, it is great. I played the regular Karibo even though it yep. sucks just because you can search it. It's right. just a body at yeah. that point, so I I don't I don't fret you for sure.
So guys, that's going to wrap it up for this episode of the Yu-Gi-Oh! Auction Series. We hope you guys enjoyed. We have to shout the patrons as always. Big shouts to Shout1317, Mono, Cameron Smith, Chaotic Meatball, Tim 0 x 3 Ike Iron Ironfang, Part 2, Pony Stark, Ian Musa, Danny Man Hoban, Sicker Guy, Ole, Mystic Walk, Sylvia Wadge, Draconic, Useful Fast, and 05, Colt T, Rockslide, Dolly Off, Logan Thomas, Peter Gregory, Thomas Nelson, Jordan Coons, Iron Bladesman, Pure Ace, Jesse Wood, True Nerdgasm, Brother Paul, Chris Soden, Nehru Celeste, David Liu, Rockway 325, Silent Age 216, Skyros, Dylan Hunter, John Two Base, Brody Eastwood, Day Sir, Elias Panero, Carlos UT, Flannel Daddy, Give Me Speed Word or Give Me Death, Ashlyn Jensen, TC Gaming, thanks for the sleeves, Dad, Matthew Brady, Dr. Solace, Max, Tom Russell, Gage, just play Watts already, Eric Grams, Wayan, and Talk Dirty to Me, MBT. Oh. That's a new one. Thank you so much for watching the video, and we will see you next time.